of this particular royal meeting. So they're standing set now for the Royal Ascot Derby, the King Edward the Seventh Stake, and they're off. They race over a mile and a half in this Group 2 for the three-year-olds, and it's Dartmoon Rising who is sent on into the early lead. He's been taken on, however, by changing of the guard, and changing of the guard, Ryan Moore was keen to get the lead, and he's, uh, at the end of the first furlong, now managed to establish an advantage of just over a length. So his changing of the guard goes on to Dartmoon Rising, and now has to be content with racing in second. Racing in third is Ottoman Fleet, followed by Lysander, who is in fourth. A break then of a couple of lengths back to Savvy Victory, who races on the inside of Grand Alliance. They race now down towards the turn at Swinley Bottom, and still the leader, now clear by a length and a half, is changing of the guard. Racing in second, Dark Moon Rising in third, Ottoman Fleet, as they go into that sweeping turn at the bottom of the hill. A length and a half away, Lysander is racing in fourth position. In fifth place is Savvy Victory, and two lengths away to Grand Alliance, as now they turn, and they now face up to the hill. Racing on now inside the final six and a half furlongs of the King Edward the Seventh Stakes, and it is still changing of the guard who leads the way to in second Dark Moon Rising, and in third, now two lengths back, is Ottoman Fleet in the fourth position. Lysander, he still travels well. Reminders at the back of the field for Grand Alliance. He's last. Last but one is Savvy Victory. Pushed along in front now is changing of the guard as they continue to climb, and they're racing on now towards the final half mile, and changing of the guard really has made this a real test. He still leads by three parts of a length to Dark Moon Rising in second position. Ottoman Fleet to the inside rail, followed by Lysander, then to the inside, Savvy Victory, and ridden along now for over a quarter mile. Grand Alliance trying to make ground, sweeping around the outside. Changing of the guard, has a lead of a length and a half as they turn in, but he's already been driven. Still, he has that clear advantage. He has the rail. Now it is Ottoman Fleet, sent in chase in second. Grand Alliance down the wide outside. Lysander, and then Dartman rising. The back marker is Savvy Victory. Still they have a full and a half to go. Still they chase, changing of the guard. Down the very wide outside is Grand Alliance, who is eating into that lead. They're now level with another 150 yards to go. Grand Alliance on the near side, drift into the stands. Changing of the guard, straight and true as they come to the line. That is very, very close, and there's a lot of distance on the trip between them. Changing of the guard, as straight as a gun barrel, wandering on the near side was Grand Alliance. Who's going to get there? changing of the guard that is an 80th winner at the royal meeting for Aidan O'Brien his third win in the King Edward the Seven Stakes a third win in the race as well for Ryan Moore Ryan Moore's 71st of this uh, meeting and it is now 80 here at the Royal Meeting for Aidan O'Brien. It also means that in his entire career, he is now on 899 group or graded races on the flat and under National Hunt rules. He just needs one more group or graded race to make it 900. He got there by the skin of his teeth. Change of the guard. He wins because he stayed as straight as a gun barrel. Isn't that incredible? 899 in group races and a training career spanning 1993 to 2022. And he's got to be so thankful to Galileo because they're just so tough, AP. And how important was the fact he kept straight? Yeah, I was saying to Jess now, Jess said that the horse that was. Here he is, the result. Yeah. Number one. Changing up the guard. Yeah, look, it looked a tough horse the way he won at Chester and that. Uh, it's not quite early. She is not an easy ride.